A blessed day to everyone, to those who are joining us, the other parts of the world also. The first impression one gets upon reading the gospel today is napaka demanding naman at harsh, unjust. Jesus with his demand to the fig tree to have fruit out of season para maghahanap ka ng mangga sa tagulan di ba parang masyadong capricious yata yung demand ni Jesus but the uh, commentaries on this gospel passage tell us that the Bible that Jesus uh, wants to point out through the symbolic actions of His and wants to emphasize in a graphic manner His point. The prophetic words of Jesus against the fig trees barrenness is a graphic image and an illustration of Israel's barrenness in terms of relationship with God and the implications of this. And this action of Jesus becomes a prelude of his act of cleansing the, the, the temple. The activity of Jesus in Jerusalem started at the area of the temple where he entered first when he arrived at Jerusalem, the capital. The first thing he did was to go to the temple. His intention of transforming the traditional Hebrew sanctuary is revealed by this symbolic action which he performed in front of the uh, temple at the courtyard. Jesus' action becomes a clear protest against the traffic and the market connected with the cultic and worship activities of the temple. Jesus, for his action of reforming the temple, can be seen as rooted in the prophetic tradition which announced the formation of a new temple as a place of encounter with God open to all peoples. And this expresses the ultimate purpose of the Temple of Israel to be a place of encounter and to be a reminder for all peoples of their need and their vocation to encounter God. Furthermore, the text underscores here, the efficacy of the word, of Jesus' word, which makes us realize the importance, its importance in our life of faith, that the word of God is credible. The word of Jesus, the promise of Jesus, is credible, as he would put it in the gospel today, that uh, if you your faith that, or your, your words that is backed up by faith, we can be sure of, as he said, that be lifted up and be thrown into the sea, you can say to the, to the mountain, he says, and does not doubt in your heart, but believes what, that what the he one says 
will happen. It shall be done for him. The power of the word of Jesus, the importance of faith, and that backs up our backs that uh, uh, serves as a foundation of our relationship with God and our prayer. Now, these are elements that are important in our relationship with God. Temple, the church building, is but a reminder, a symbol for all of us, called to enter into an intimate relationship with God, to cultivate this relationship, loving relationship with, with God. And Jesus has opened for us already this beautiful relationship with God as Father, as He made us children of God through baptism. This is the beautiful vocation of every Christian to enter, to foster, to grow in our relationship with God. Because of this, Jesus wanted to show that in this relationship, therefore, with God, nothing should interfere. That's why he cleansed the temple to show us that in our relationship with God, nothing and no one should interfere. Secondly, this loving relationship with God expressed in our worship should also be fruitful. It should bear fruit. That is the point also of the the uh, cursing of the fig tree and the cleansing of the table that the worship the, of the, the temple rather that the worship of the people during his time has become sterile instead of worshiping God it has been distracted by other cares like business worship has become empty ritualism the Lord wants that our life of worship our frequent encounter with him should not end only in such ritual but it should overflow into producing fruits of goodness expressed especially in our service and care for others. So we see here that the cleansing of the temple tries to show us, to remind us of our need to grow in our relationship with God and to check again and again if that relationship is not interfered, bothered, or distracted by other concerns. And third point, that this relationship, that this worship we render to God does not end there. It has to produce fruits of goodness and service. May our worship today be again an encounter with the living God to our loving Father and let us ask Him to help us that after this act of worship, this ritual of worship, may we continue also to bear fruit. Amen.